well guys, I hope you're all having a really awesome day. My day is going, uh, yeah, it's going pretty well so far. Uh, currently just on my way up to London. Um, today is Monday and it's the, uh, the setup day for a big project we've got at the Imperial College up in London. Um, what we've been doing over the past maybe month or two, we've been uh, making a series of animation. I think there's, there's three of us animators on it, on the project, and uh, we've made these uh, five animations that all um, talk about various aspects that revolve around the uh, university. I think it's kind of like a little bit of a promotional thing for them and to kind of get people in for like an open day sort of thing. So what we're going to do is we're going up there today to set all the projectors up and then we'll do tests this evening to see how all the colours look and things. Um, it's, uh, oh yeah, and then tomorrow and the following week it's going to be projected every single evening onto the side of the building. Um, the thing that's different about this project is it's not just a normal sort of canvas that we're projecting onto, we're projecting onto the side of a building which has its own sort of difficulties. It's actually the side of the library and uh, this is like narrow window like slit things and uh, one of the things the uni said is they, they don't want any light going into uh, into the windows and disturbing the students while they're in there studying. Um, so that then come along with its own uh, own sort of problems and issues because we couldn't project it to there which means the content then had to kind of be created around that aspect um, which you'll see, you'll see and uh, it all looks really smart and it's going to be good. So I'm going to stop talking and carry on going there. So you'll see the building when I get there. Yeah, this close. guys so I'm finally here I uh, just had a little uh, bite to eat um, as you can see it's a bit dark I hope you can see me all right so this is the tower that we're projecting from just up there as you can see the projector kind of going off uh, the actual wall that we're projecting onto today is this so as you can see it's currently lit up by a matte color that will be that's being used as uh, just so we can kind of get where the edges of the screen will be or wall um, it's gonna be pretty good it's gonna be gonna be good fun at the moment it's just completely blanketed the whole thing so you can see it's going into the windows a little bit but very soon they'll put a mask over each one they do that in the uh, software we use called Resolum um, there's a test card let's um, let me take you upstairs we'll go up into the tower and uh, you can see with the kind of setup we've got going so that'd be cool Back on the other camera now, I, I accidentally left the compact in the uh, inside while I went out to go to the toilet. But yeah, so we, we're in this tower which is in the Imperial College, right in, I can't remember what it's called, like the Queen's Garden or something like that maybe. I don't know, I'll find that. And uh, it's quite cool, this sort of place you wouldn't usually get to come in. So it's kind of this weird sort of tower thing that I'm told used to be part of like some old building that was here, but this is the only bit that's left. Um, so we're going to go up three floors, almost there. Go out on the canopy. I'm going to try and preserve the battery, so I'm going to cut it. Oh, we're outside. Let's go. Good fun, I enjoy it all. As you can see, this is the first time it's kind of uh, got me about it up there tonight. Um, we're using a projector that is. Uh, 10,000 lumens 
and it does seem a little bit dull but it does look really good and it just means that tonight we're going to have to uh, make a few alterations so I've already made some alterations to contrast and brightness to some of the effects and clips and yeah it's starting to look it's starting to look a lot better so I think we're going to call it a day today they've just turned the projector off um, we're going to go home a couple of hour ride home and then mess around with effects mess around with the colors again export it again tomorrow morning bring it back up and then see it for showtime so that should be really cool so next time you see me we'll be on the way back up tomorrow see you in a bit yo guys day two um going back up to london again we had um what did we do yesterday? As you just saw a couple of seconds ago, we got to a certain point in which we realized that there needed to be a, a few alterations with contrast and stuff. So we worked on that last night when we got back and then this morning, working on it like crazy. Um, I need to be there for four o'clock today because that's when like, the other tech guys get there. Um, but that's the problem. We had um, all these other files that we had to kind of change and all these uh, um, alterations to make with the colors. So that took long and as you can see, currently exporting while in the car, driving up there. My sat nav says I'm gonna get there at one minute to four, so that's cutting it close. But it should be all right. It's not paramount that I'm there dead on four. It's just that's when the other people get there. So I'm gonna focus on getting there, not chat too much. See you in a minute. And I reckon they can have anything they want, so I believe that this could be real because they can just put anything inside, like, even if they're not going to have it, they put it on. So I finally got here. The time is now half past four, so I wasn't a little bit behind the schedule, but we're now doing today's calibration on the wall. I don't know if you can see that, but there is a faint picture on it right now. Let me see if I can zoom in. Start the season, sort of things maybe. Once that's done, we'll then load in the latest timeline version and then it's all ready to go later on. It's a little bit murky today, so fingers crossed it won't rain and the vision will be all right. So let's crack on. This one, uh, well, no, this whole, oh, this whole section, section yeah. yeah. Yesterday you couldn't see those squiggly lines either. guys so as you can see well I hope you can see I'm by this rather blue light right now but um, we've got the projector I mean the projections going and it's uh, it's all looking pretty sweet actually the alterations and stuff that we did um, last night and this morning have really paid off it looks really smart I think it's looking a lot bolder and uh, yeah really really pleased with it it's as you can maybe see it's starting to rain a bit so let's bring it around here a little bit um, luckily the tower He's blocking the rain for us. Visibility is still really good, so it's really awesome. So yeah, enjoy. So that's the end of maybe this project that's taken about two months, I think. Really pleased a bit, really good sort of a uh, like production learning curve kind of thing. Time to walk back down, look at this place, it's so tall. It goes up even higher than that, down to the bottom. So we've got a couple of hour drive home, should be pretty cool. Just gonna go outside, look at it again from the grass, see how it all goes, because I'm not gonna come back up. 
but um, yeah, really awesome, really nice experience. And it's always a pleasure to work with the awesome people I work with. So let's go! <laughs> So guys, I'm not sure if you can see me or not, but I'm sh you'll definitely be able to hear me. This is all uh, the block of animations that I did. Um, you can see how we've masked it um, to go around the windows so we're not spilling any light actually into the library itself. Um, that, like I mentioned before, created its own challenges because it meant that we can't put any content into those masked areas, otherwise you won't be able to see it. Um, you'll be able to see very shortly on this next little segment. It goes to, in the book, you can see how each individual letter goes into each individual block. So that's the sort of thing that we had to work around. Uh, overall, the project's turned out really well. It's really awesome, as you can see. And if you definitely, uh, definitely, if you get the chance to come down to the Imperial College at some point this week, go for it and have a look. It's awesome. Really pleased with how it's turned out. And that's the end of that. Now it's time to uh, to go home, a couple of hour drive home. Yeah, this should be cool. Project well done. See ya. <laughs>